the member statements. The member from Stormont, Dundas, South Glengarry. Thank you, Speaker. On Sunday, I had the honour to represent my riding in Stormont, Dundas, and South Glengarry at a ceremony commemorating the 225th anniversary of the first Parliament of Upper Canada in Niagara and the Lake. Speaker, under an act of the British Parliament, elections were held in August of 1792 to elect the 16-member House of Assembly. Lieutenant Governor John Simcoe called the Assembly together for their first meeting of the new legislature on Monday, September the 17th, 1792. Several important acts were passed by the First Parliament, including the establishment of English civil law and trial by jury, the abolition of slavery, <coughs> division of the province into 17 counties or districts, the building of a courthouse in Gowles in every district of the province, and the introduction of a standard system of weight and measures. Speaker, it is interesting to note in the first parliament, Eastern Ontario had nine of just over 16 ridings. Glengarry had two ridings, Hugh McDonnell and John McDonnell, who, were, who was elected Speaker of the Assembly. And the clerk of the Assembly was Angus McDonnell. Clearly, Speaker, Upper Canada was in good hands in 1792. <laughs> As you fast forward to 1867, when uh, Glengarry and John Sandville MacDonald was the, first, uh, the last Prime Minister of Upper Canada and the first Premier of, of Ontario, and Sir John A. MacDonald was the first Prime Minister of Canada, clearly Eastern Ontario, and in particular, Clan Donald, had a huge impact on our...